In 2007, the European Commission launched Episode 3, a three-year project designed to prepare for the CESAR development phase. With Episode 3, a new approach was tried. The intention was to use much lighter techniques in order to provide quicker responses on the CESAR concept. Episode 3 was a bridging project between CESAR definition phase and the CESAR development phase. Episode 3 has been designed to complement the work undertaken in the CESAR definition phase. So the first objective of episode 3 is definitely to detail the CESAR concept, to provide first experts feedback on this concept. We had experts from operational centers, we had our route controllers, we had TMA controllers, airport controllers, uh, network operator from the CFMU, we had airline ramp manager from uh, British Airways, from Air Berlin, we had um, AOC staff from Iberia and Air France giving feedback, precious feedback on the concept and identifying hot topics. Episode 3 has provided an opportunity to use validation techniques to explore the concepts and systems proposed by CESAR. Validation is a process where you test or you check if, for example, a concept or a system is really fit for purpose. We need to know that any operational change we make will bring the performance benefits we require, will be safe in operations, and will be usable and acceptable by the pilots, controllers, and operational staff who will have to use it. In the case of episode three, we have taken elements from the CESAR concept of operations, and we have made a first assessment if these elements can provide the expected benefits. Many validation techniques have been tried out for the first time in episode 3. We had to look at innovative methods. We have used fast time simulations, iterative prototyping session, and we have also used expert groups in gaming. EP3 has combined classic and innovative assessment techniques, including expert groups and gaming. This approach has allowed operational experts to participate in the development and assessment of the operational concept. Important factors for an expert group in episode 3 were to be focused on the operational issue that was going to be discussed, to have a good structure and facilitation, to have a common understanding on the concept and the complementary expertise of the participants. Analytical modeling, including fast time simulations, have been combined with prototyping sessions to provide first quantitative assessment over the concept. We uh, simulate the present day situation um, of all the whole European area, including the operational circumstances, and we are simulating the future situation, including all the procedures as been thought of and uh, developed by Cesar. The concept of 4D trajectory management has been studied in seven prototyping sessions in different airspaces, including the Maastricht Upper Airspace, Dublin and Roma TMA. Elements of the concept were demonstrated to currently active controllers in order to obtain feedback on the feasibility of these advanced ideas. The system view defined the validation strategy and has integrated the results from the exercises. We had so much information that people had to manage that we had to find a, a way to make it understandable, easily structured. The integration of results covering 41 countries in Europe, 2,000 airports and more than 50,000 flights a day, that is 60 million flights a year, for 180 potential improvements is far from a little story. We have to ensure that performance is measured in the same way in the different studies and that's why the performance framework was so important in episode 3. Episode 3 has brought together over 20 key partners, most of which are now participating in CESAR JU activities. Their expertise covers all technical and system aspects including flow and traffic management, air traffic control, airspace user and airport operations. This has meant making people working together when they came from different cultures, different organizations. Some people had already worked together, but some of our partners were new to, to the field. 
Episode 3 developed a web-based tool which allowed all partners all over Europe to access the same information, to see documents, download them, provide comments and also to have discussions in a provided discussion review room. Together, we identified hot topics. For example, something that sounds simple, the definition of an update or a revision, is something that's very important when we're talking to the users, especially when we're talking about the collaborative decision-making methodology. Another area is flying to time constraints. This can be difficult for controllers, as the avionics work in different ways. This has in fact been passed to some of the SJU work packages and will be further developed in that context. Episode 3 has taken the first steps on the path towards Cesar concept validation. But we also learned a great deal of the operational side of the concept. How an extended arrival manager will interact with an en route sector or how a user preferred trajectory can transition into fixed en route sectors. These are the types of things that episode 3 managed to clarify and we can take them forward for further development within Cesar. Of course we don't have the scale and complexity of Cesar, but we are looking at the same problem. Is the Cesar concept going to deliver performance? Is it going to be acceptable by its users? Faced with enormous challenges, the best ATM validation experts in Europe have teamed up in episode 3 to offer the best possible output to Cesar. One of the main achievements of the episode 3 was that we have provided more detail to the Cesar concept of operations. We have provided more detail in operational scenarios in the planning phase for en route and for airport. Cesar has a lot of hard work ahead of it, but hopefully episode 3 can provide a good base to start from. Cesar obviously needs to integrate the output of episode 3 into the various work packages. It also needs to avoid duplication of time and resources that has already been spent. Hopefully episode 3 will provide the foundation to take the Cesar concept further and clarify within SJU the various further aspects. Welcome to 400.